Hello, and thank you for listening to this episode of the Billy Newman Photo Podcast. My name is Billy Newman, and I'm here today with Marina Hansen. How are you doing, Marina? Hey, Billy. I'm doing well today. Thanks so much for doing another one of these podcasts in the studio. It's a rainy Sunday afternoon. We're hanging out, recording one of them. It's kind of cool. I'm having a good time. Me too. Yeah, it's good weather for podcasting. <laughs> it's better, yeah, than the summer when we were like wanting to run around outside yeah. all the time. <laughs> Or have the fan going because it's too hot. Oh, uh, man, it was so hot in this little room. Too hot in the studio for the summertime here. But, uh, but yeah, happy to be hanging out late in November, being kind of cozy, thinking about uh, different stuff we're going to be doing this evening. But we've been doing a few photo things over the last couple of days. We went out to that wildlife refuge we just talked about. Yesterday, we went out and uh, we went out toward uh, Pisgah. Yeah. Which is really cool. Yeah. It's a cool spot. I like the Pisgah chip. That was kind of fun. Just kind of hanging out. I'm trying to think of like things, especially now in November, and we were talking about this, like how to do things that are a little bit more of like an exercise to kind of just keep you in shape for doing photo stuff or kind of being out and doing different kind of creative outdoor photo things. So that's what I'm trying to do a little bit more, maybe once, twice, three times a week, at least, I hope, gosh, or at least once a week. We should try and do, <laughs> uh, we should try and do some little thing that's like together, yeah. out walking around, sort of trying to figure out a little photo thing that we we want to work on you know something yeah, like that in practice i want to try and do that a little bit more on our stuff you know like i do the work stuff and that's okay mm -hmm. but it's almost like a different brain or like a different yeah. mind of work so i, I like doing so. the kind of creative stuff with with our own our own gear kind of working on little things and, and that's the other thing too is like i mean a lot of all the photos that we show and post that's sort of the collection of all the good stuff from just that creative sort of wandering around that we would do when we yeah. were traveling or you know when we we're hanging out and we've got cameras and stuff around so i want to try and do more of that sort of stuff with you i do too even through november yeah i really want to try to be pushing it through the rainy season yeah yeah late late october november probably a lot of december up up till christmas maybe you know i mm -hmm. seem to never really get into or like make make a lot of stuff you know I always kind of run run a little dry during that time. But, oh, man, too many times a year. So, yeah, we've been doing a lot, which was cool. It was cool going out to Pisgah. We got out there yesterday, maybe an hour before sunset or so-ish yeah, around there. So, so it was nice. Yeah, we took a little drive out there. And, uh, yeah, I did a little hike up a center channel of it. And it was really, I don't know if it was really anything specific, spectacular, super interesting. There's no, like, absolute vista to see from there. But it was cool to get out to a little spot. With some contours in the land a little bit of elevation change and take some pictures but it's interesting this time of year uh, well we were fortunate to have some kind of mixed light that had some color and i think yeah. that's the kind of phenomena that you have to go after to get interesting stuff during this time of year because everything else is so gray or right. so dark just a little like scrub oak sticks that kind of scraggly like on the skyline yeah you see that a little bit it seems like you really have to chase down the good moments when they happen during the yeah the worst weather i'm really glad that we got out there the clouds looked really pretty oh it yeah it was time. great there's been a bit of that this last week that's been cool like uh, a few a few different sort of wintry cloud textures and light that have been pretty cool i think even the day before on friday maybe it was the day that you were on your own trip when you were hiking up to skinner butte oh right? yeah yeah that was a good day yeah it was cool that evening there was just like a cool kind of layered texture in the clouds it was kind of mm -hmm. this purple magenta color that sort of kind of went through the sky it was kind of nice and pretty though it was really neat i should have been out taking more pictures of it i tried to get a few pictures of that though throughout <laughs> the the last week it was kind of fun i'm glad we've been doing that but we did the pisca trip then we got home from the pisca trip we should go through those photos i think uh i think you know like loading them up in the lightroom would be cool yeah but then we uh we ended up pulling out that box right that box of stuff. That's really, right. uh, yeah, because we were oh, talking about okay. photo stuff, and and I, I put some batteries in my old uh, my old manual focus film camera, uh, and we we took that out to Mount Pisgah and took a couple photos with it. It'll be cool. I'm well, yeah, yeah. We'll see. We'll see what they look like when they're developed. I'm not sure what the what, what's on that roll of film that's in there or, or what's going. <laughs> what the story is with that. It might be years old now. Um, but uh, but yeah, we'll try and get that developed soon. It was it was cool taking it out there, and so that kind of sparked our interest to like other film cameras and like all the other camera bodies that are sort of around the house that are maybe a little retired or things we didn't really use ever. And so we pulled out this box Marina had, and we're like going through a bunch of those things. So we went out, we pulled a, a few of the the Pentax cameras out. What was the story with them? Yeah, those are cool. Those were my grandmother's. She gave them to me when I started getting into photography stuff more. 
Um, it's cool. And they're... I don't know exactly when they're from. They're from probably the 50s. Are they that old? The 50s or the mid 60s but there are pictures of my mom when she's a baby that were taken with those cameras oh really yeah wow. i didn't realize it was that old i thought it was late 60s or 70s or something it i mean could I, have been, I don't, it, I don't it have could be mid know. it could be mid to late 60s oh yeah it could I, be I, mid I, to I late 60s that. but that's really cool from, though that's that's that old but they're yeah they're from that old stuff. yeah it was, pretty cool. yeah it was cool seeing them yeah and they're they're still in uh in real nice shape and a lot they're very used like, they yeah, are so they definitely they used. traveled a lot that's yeah. kind of one of the cool things about them yeah they went to china a few places through that Europe is and... really cool yeah that's really fun stuff in china i think it'd be fun yeah. to, to kind of refurbish it a little bit i kind of want to like build it up to be sort of a nice kind of jewel like thing like an old camera that's been a lot of places i want to do it yeah it's, it's like a cool camera of family history you know yeah i like it for that i think my uh my he'd be my great uncle my grandma's brother yeah. is a photographer right. and i think he's the one who set her up with those cameras so uh, it's kind of cool. cool having them pass through down Ooh, to me yeah yeah i want to uh, yeah so we, we pulled out like the the little bottle of rubbing alcohol and a bunch of q-tips we were rubbing them down rubbing yeah, some little yeah, dust so off the little nooks and crannies and stuff yeah we, we went through a, a couple of, or a dozen or so <laughs> little yeah, dirty ends of q-tips uh, but we clean it up pretty well. I don't know if there's like a lubricant or something. You still hear the kind of grinding when you oh, yeah, wrap the focus that. ring around. Like sand grinding against glass yeah, on the inside. Oh, like... man, no. Um, but it's it's really fun having them. I like that screw mount setup with that, that really cool, I think it's what, like the 55 millimeter 1.8. The, they look like a cool type of lens that goes with mm-hmm. the Pentax. I guess like Ashi Pentax is like the same brand or something. It's like known in Japan and whatever it's known as here in the U.S. during the period that they were selling a lot of film cameras to the U.S. market. And uh, it's kind of interesting. But yeah, so yeah, yeah that screw mount thing, uh, or like, yeah, we got, th- those are, they look like nice lenses. I haven't really looked them up a bunch. They're oh, yeah. common in a way. You can get them. They're not terribly expensive, but they're very cool, and I really like them. They are pretty cool. And they all had, um, what are those, haze filters? Yeah, they, they all, all had, had those a, little glass haze a filters new on looking. Them nice glass haze yeah, yeah so, the, so we the, took all of those off of them when we were cleaning up and they just look really sharp yeah because the, they've been covered that, which is yeah, nice. yeah the just the real protected and just look like super sharp. clean fresh optics and i i like shooting without haze filters it's really cool to Me have too. them i guess if you have them it's i'm glad they were on there because yeah. they've been around for <laughs> at least as long as my mom has and yeah they're uh they're in pretty good shape so good enough that i get to take pictures with them yeah i think it's pretty cool but i've had some lenses around for a while and i i'm rough ish with them and and Mm -hmm. they've kind of held up a a better than i would have thought they would have um so yeah i think uh, i think it'd be pretty cool that i use uh use some of that or use that old pentax kind of set it up a little bit special and use it with a couple of those old lenses i think it's fun to run through yeah for being a person who's into photography, it's kind of oh, cool yeah, having yeah. a few different cameras to kind of play around with. Yeah, I really like it. Yeah, I think it's cool. What was it, like a one 135-millimeter F3.5 lens? Yeah. That, that one yeah. longer kind of portrait screw mount? It's kind yeah, of like it was a 135, thing. and I think it was, yeah, one. It's cool. It just looks so skinny and narrow. It does, For like yeah. a little telephoto. It's a little it's funny. It's, funny. Like, ooh, it looks, it's interesting. Speedy. Yeah, it's cool. And then uh, what? There was like a twenty-four millimeter screw mount. It looks like kind yeah. of a landscape lens. It does. Like I, so I yeah. Figured, like F four. It's supposed to be like sharp or something. I don't. I, 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 so. It's just trying to figure out like what that would be. But it's it's a cool set of prime lenses. And then I like that other Pentaxi because there's like the there was one body with the screw mount, yeah, and then and there then was like the other one with body. the bracket mount, whatever that was. Yeah. And that has that. Uh, That's that, a really nice fifty millimeter. Yeah, right? that fifty millimeter f14 on there yeah which is cool i don't have it is yeah that's nice that's nice old manual that's the one that i've used the most oh um, yeah i've taken the most pictures with cool they look good i want to try yeah we should try and uh pump those cameras up a little bit yeah maybe do some cool stuff for us yeah i remember the first uh the first photos that i took with those with that camera and that lens that uh that old pentax with the the 50 millimeter it was this hot air balloon yeah 
event I that was going really on. I really like that picture. Yeah, I got some cool pictures from there. I got this one that's like one of my favorites probably of my film photos that's of this big hot air balloon panda bear head. Mm, panda, <laughs> panda. Big panda bear. That looks really cool. It's really pretty and kind of dreamy looking. The color of it's really nice. I remember being really excited because I really barely edited those photos at all. Oh, I yeah. Just, like, I remember that. Yeah, I think I great. fixed the crop a little bit, but... It just came out so nicely. They were really I remember, nice. I remember thinking, no way. No this, way. This camera that was given to me for free that's super old is pretty nice. Oh, <laughs> this yeah. This is great. Yeah, it's great. It's really cool. Yeah, well, let's, we'll, we'll clean them up a little bit more. We'll get a, a new roll of film in there. Yeah, I'd we, like yeah, to. Yeah, we should try it out. Something cool. I want to try out a couple a couple little nice things with our, our old film cameras. Yeah. It'd be fun to set them up, set them out. So we'll try to find some cool way to do it. But yeah, thanks, Brina, for joining me for this uh, episode of the podcast. I thanks appreciate it. for having me on again. Talking about some cool uh, film photo stuff that we've been uh, working on, some little photo projects we're doing through November. So on behalf of Marina Hansen, my name is Billy Newman, and thank you very much for listening to this episode of the Billy Newman Photo Podcast.